Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Kaido House Mini GT Dotson 510 Pro Street and Bree Dotson Livery. Now, if you're interested in picking up either version 1 or version 2, I picked them up from my friends over at Surplus Goodies. I'll link them both in the video description below if they are still available. Alright, before we get to the models themselves, let's take a look at the packaging. I'm only going to go over version 1 because they're both the same box essentially except for one has 005. Version 2 is 006. So we'll move that one out of the way. We'll take a closer look at version 1's box. Up on the top here, we have Kyle House Mini GT 510 Pro Street 005. Got a render of the car designed by June Amai. Features metal body, chassis, alloy wheels, and opening hood. Got Kyle House Mini GT on this side. It's in the box here. Features Kyle House car culture for all scales. Kyle Heart, Kyle House, and Kyle House Garage on Instagram, as well as KyleHouse.com. Once again, Kyle House Mini GT on this end, BRE, and all your relevant legal information can be found on the bottom of the boxes. Alright, first up we'll take a look at version 1, which is 005. Starting off here on the hood, we have number 46 in Dotson. We've got insert details for your headlights. Of course you can see BRE on the left headlights and down on the chin spoiler. Go ahead and open up the hood. We've got the chrome and black hood uh, engine in there with BRE on the top. Up on the roof here we have Do Bree Dotson number 46. Kaido House on the side window there with the Super Sport sedan badging back here on the roof post. BRE on the fender with Bree Dotson and the red and blue stripes. Chrome exhaust sticking out the fender there. Of course gunmetal gray wheels which roll smoothly. Number 46 on the door. Got chrome trim around the windows that look very nicely detailed. Bree Dotson on the side. BRE on the drag wing on the back. Of course, you can see the interior is black. Got silver tub rear of the interior with black roll cage. Back here on the rear, we have BRE for your plates. Inserted taillight details, 510 and chrome rear bumper. Right side of the car is more or less the same as the left side. No major differences except for the fuel door. Once again, there's your interior. Look at the bottom. It is your standard Kyle House multi-color chassis with speed dimples, massive rear drag tires on the back, and pizza cutter tires on the front. So that is version one. We'll go ahead and take a look at version two. First off, version one has like a matte color red. It's hard to see on camera, but it is a matte color compared to gloss on the other one. Once again, 46 dots on the hood. Open it up. Got black with white. BRE on the top of it. BRE once again on the headlights and on the chin spoiler. You can see a different grill on this one as well as a different hood or engine. BRE Bree Dotson 46. Got different wheels but they're still gunmetal gray. Of course got the uh, black uh, exhaust sticking out of the side of the fender on that one. Interior white tubbed on the back with red roll cage. The rear of the car is the same. Everything is the same except for a few minor load changes. We'll go over those deep, those changes now. Starting off with version 1 and 2. Version 1 is on my right or on my left right here. Version 2 right here. You can see the grills are different. Wheels are different. Exhaust is even different. Chrome on version 1, black on version 2. As I mentioned, wheels and stuff are different, just same color. Got a black roll cage on version 1, red roll cage version 2. Open up the hood on both of them for you here. All right. Under the hood, we have chrome and black for version 1, black and white for version 2. So, yeah. Very nicely done models from Kyle House Mini GT. That is the Dotson 510 Pro Street and Bree Dotson Livery. Pick mine up from Surplus Goodies. Once again, if they're available still, I'll link them in the video description below. If you enjoyed this review, get a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrain69. See you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.